time that somebody under the influence you might have approached and maybe you blew it off as, oh, she's a pill head, oh, she's a crack head. Well, while you're being judgmental, did you ever think that maybe there's underlying issues that might cause why she's a crack head, why she's, why he's a pill head? Why don't you try to understand that drug addiction is actually a disease? It's something that you cannot turn off and on. Um, once you are addicted, it becomes a serious health issue. Um, by the end of my speech, maybe you'll look back and be able to think of someone you might know who struggles from addiction and you might not be so judgmental. There, there are physical effects that come along with drug addiction. Um, one being the withdrawals. When you start using drugs, um, your body adapts to it. Your body um, needs it in a way. Um, without it, you are not normal, you cannot function. Um, the withdrawals can consist of shakes. I'm talking about any drug addiction, crack, heroin, uh, alcohol, pills, um, shakes. Sleeping, not sleeping, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, constant withdrawals. It's, it's absolutely just mind-blowing how horrible you can feel. And once, once that drug grabs you and you start having the withdrawals, no, noticing that you don't feel normal without your drug of choice, it starts to begin to change. It's a chase to get that relief from the drug to feel normal. Before you, before you get up in the morning and take a shower, you gotta chase to get whatever drug you need to make you feel normal. Or you lay in bed sick. You know, after you overcome physical, uh, the physical withdrawals, there's also mental. The, the mental part of drug addiction is something that people really have a hard time with. Even after getting over the withdrawals, even, after, even with recovery, you know, the mental, it plays games with your head. You might even have dreams about drugs, um, dreams about using, dreams of being high. You might be able to relate to that, and it's a constant trigger, a reminder. It's constant right there in the back of your head saying, you know, do it, do it, do it, do it. It, it's really the devil, if you think about it. Um, drug addiction is actually a disease that you cannot turn off and on. And it, it, the, the mental and physical effects are right there. But some people, some people would rather go through the mental than the physical effects because it's just, it, it, it's really, it's really, a thing that controls your mind. If the, phys the physical controls your mind, if that makes sense. The physical, the withdrawals makes you want to chase it. If you know what I'm saying, it's, it's not a very good thing. And these people who are addicted to drugs need help. They need you to support them. They need you to you know, be there for them because it's not something you can turn off and on. You can't just be like, okay, well, you know, today I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Yes, it may sound easy to some, but like I said, the mental and physical effects of it really prevent you from turning it off. You know, um, drug addiction breaks families apart. The addict may steal from families, lie, they may um, not spend time with their kids. And even though you're addicted to drugs, it doesn't mean you don't love your children. You may see an addict that um, chooses chasing that high over, you know, spending time with their child. And it's sad. And that addict wants to stop. That addict wants to wake up and be normal. They strive to do it. Sometimes they even think of suicide because they just, they want out of that mental and physical effect. It's taking over them. It's, it, it's a demon inside of you that 
that controls your every move and every thought. And families are very affected by it when there is an addict. But also, with addiction, it can bring families together. With the support and love of family, it can let the addict know that it's okay. There's a reason for you to live. There's a reason for you to get sober. There's a reason for you to be here without being high. You can be happy without being high. And by having family support, the addict might think, maybe I can do this. Maybe I'm not so much of a bad person after all. It's important to remember these things when coming in contact with an addict. It's an everyday struggle to feel normal. It's an everyday struggle to want to be normal. I'm going to share something with you guys that I really hope doesn't change your opinion of me. I'm a recovering heroin addict. Um, I'm three years clean. And it's been a struggle for me. It's been a struggle for me. And look at me now. Look how far I've come. They think back and I who was that person? Who, who was that? That's not me today. It's not who you guys see today at all. I look back and, and I just can't. I remember the chase and I remember the mental and I remember the physical. And they're still mental every day. You know, I think of it. You know, who was that person? Do I need to get high now? Do I feel the need to get high? I get upset. I got upset about losing my daughter. Should I get high? No. Because I had family. I realized that it was a disease that I had no control over after a certain point. I needed my family. I needed it to recover. I needed, I needed love. I needed, I needed support. And I got that. I got that. And it's better now. I'm, I'm happy. I hope you guys don't place judgment on me. And I hope you guys don't place judgment on others because sometimes you just don't know what they're struggling with. I'm a completely normal girl raised in a perfect family. Just a dream, a dream family that you can imagine. And place drugs have no, they don't care if you're from a perfect family. They don't care where you come from. They will take a hold of you either way. So next time you meet somebody who's a crackhead, who's a heroin addict, junkie, jug, whatever you want to call them, maybe they might have some underlying issues that you might be able to say, hey, you know, you can, you can do this. Next time, don't be so judgmental because you don't know what they've been through. Drug addiction is a disease, and it's not something you can turn off and on. I know that from experience. But with recovery and support, I'm living proof that you can overcome anything. Thank you.